All right, guys. Uh, I couldn't. I can't sync my. Uh, I got a tablet. It's my. Uh, it's an old uh, 2013 Nexus 7, and uh, I'll either use this or my phone uh, to help bring the camera. Uh, I got, I'm working off a of Hero 4, so I don't have the LCD back. Um, so I, I don't. I generally just shoot blind when I'm doing selfies or videos or anything. Uh, but anyway, today's post is um, Thanksgiving leftovers continued, right? Um, so I got the leftovers from Thanksgiving at my sister's place. We got the homemade cranberry sauce, some turkey, uh, the deep fried Brussels sprouts, and the mashed potatoes with the gravy. Cool. Um, okay. I was eating some leftovers earlier from some of the from the other party that we went to, but I didn't get a chance to record it. So it was like middle of the day, and I was hanging out with Olive and feeding her, and it seemed like a lot of effort to get the video up and running. Mm. Um, sorry, I might have heated it up a little too much. I put it in the microwave for about two minutes. Um, I have a love-hate thing with really hot food. So I, um, like, yeah, it makes you feel good when you have a nice hot meal, but I feel like I can't enjoy it if it's too hot and it burns my mouth. Uh, so it's definitely on the warmer side. The cranberry sauce, it's the fresh cranberry sauce, not the canned one. Uh, it's a little light on the sugar, so it's super, super sour. like a little bitterness to round it out uh, really intense but I'm definitely gonna finish that first um, so that I'm gonna come back around to that finish that first uh, so that the bitter taste is not the last taste in my mouth do the Brussels sprouts mm. super delicious totally mush though um, and they were like, I think even fresh, <clears throat> they weren't super crisp. They were uh, like, it had that like charred taste, um, but it wasn't like crispy. It was still a little bit on the saggy side, so now it's just like mush. I believe they're deep fried with Parmesan and um, they just added like Parmesan cheese and something else to it afterwards. I have to look back at my notes. I don't remember. It's really good one. Mashed potatoes? Mm. It's good. Um, this is homemade. This is not a box one. This is definitely like... It's whipped really nice. There's still like a couple chunky pieces of potato in there. The gravy is really nice too. Good stuff. Mm. Alright, back to the turkey. It's a nice little chunk of turkey here. Um, the turkey, so my brother in law made the turkey. They spatchcocked it. Um, look that up. No, he said no brine, okay? Um, the brine takes out uh, a lot of the natural flavors of a turkey, basically, since it sits in the salt water and the spices, basically, you're just, it's kind of just turning into any regular old protein. It keeps it moist, but at the trade-off of not actually tasting the turkey or having any nutrients in there. Uh, that being said, this is not brined, but he just spatchcocked it where, basically, you, you uh, what do you do? You, cut the, you take the spine out, so you're cutting it in half, and then you lay it flat and then it cuts the roasting time down like substantially. Uh, still really moist. And this is a breast piece. So, you know, breast is, or white meat is like notorious for getting dry. 
or just in a general sense, not particularly turkey or whatever, but chicken, white meat, like, yeah, it's more luscious or whatever, but it also can sometimes can be dry. Um, this is really good. Yeah. Even though I microwaved the hell out of this, um, still cold, still cold. <laughs> that just means I could eat it that much faster. Mm. Back to the cranberry. I talked to a couple people, uh, some coworkers, and uh, one of my buddies is not a big fan of the cranberry. All right, and I've always cranberries always cranberry sauce has always been like my favorite, um, particularly the canned one. All right, I don't know, like, there, well, there's a couple reasons behind it, but, but I like the canned cranberry sauce, just like a generic any whatever cranberry sauce. Um, I like the I, I'm a I'm a I'm actually a huge fan of Jello, like, like, Jello like strawberry Jello, not like aspic or like meat Jellos and stuff, but like fruit Jello gelatin like for desserts. Um, I just grew up as like with that as one of my big favorite uh, favorite snacks or desserts or whatever. So come come Thanksgiving time when cranberry sauce is around, um, it's like it's like a different texture to me. So, you know, you got all this, like, nice savory, savory food, and the cranberry sauce to me kind of just, like, cuts up all that savory goodness, and you get a little bit of sweet texture to it, and a little bit of a uh, jello texture amidst all the, you know, mashed potatoes, and you know, all the crisp veggies, and the turkey and stuff, so it's nice. Um, it also goes particularly good with the turkey. Uh, if you're just having, like, a little bite of turkey, a little bite of cranberry sauce, they, they, they pair well, they'll be nice together. <clears throat> so that's my take on cranberry sauce. See, and as, as bitter as, and sour as this one is, if I, you know, I'm gonna dip a little bit in here. Let's try cranberry on turkey. It's not as sour and bitter anymore. You know, so that's always a good thing. You know, the turkey's it's a little tough. It's a little tough. It's not like a nice clean bite through this. It's a little tough. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we still got a little bit more leftovers. Um, I think this is the last of the leftovers from my sister's party, but we got leftovers from the other Thanksgiving parties, so the next couple posts we'll be talking about that, right? Take these guys. See you guys.